So recently, I just found this really, really amazing sketchbook, and guess what? It's not even a sketchbook! Crazy, right? Not just that, but today I'm going to be making a drawing using each and every single one of my Hoo Hoo Color markers, so stay tuned for that! But before that, here is the most random stationery slash art supply haul that, you know, I just decided to film because why not? So the very first thing we have here are these washi tape stickers. I saw these for $4 at Kmart and oh my goodness, they are amazing. And yes, apparently some people don't know what Kmart is, which is crazy because in Australia, Kmart is the best place, in my opinion, to buy stationery. So as you can tell, I was clearly just having a bit of trouble figuring out how this works, but once I kind of got the hang of it, I loved these stickers. And you know what? The really amazing thing about this sticker set is it's that firstly these stickers are easy to transport because i mean obviously they're so small and in a washi tape form and secondly some of these sticker tape thingies have like different designs which means you have no idea what you're gonna get next like this one for example you know when sometimes you just become so curious about this new thing that you purchased when you went shopping that you just forget you're filming? Well, that's what kind of happened to me. I forgot I was filming and then I realized half of the time I was kind of out of the frame, so sorry about that. But these stickers are so mesmerizing. I mean, look at these designs. They are so cute. I wonder how long they're going to last me, but I guess we'll find out. Anyways, continuing on, I picked up a couple more things. So the second thing I picked up is this Mont Marty, I think that's how you say it, sketchbook. And I got it for four dollars and guess what it actually works pretty well with markers i mean the marker ink kind of expands but honestly for four dollars i'm really happy with this and like all the sketchbooks i've used so far this one also does have a bit of show through but again that's pretty much a normal thing for a sketchbook but now here is where it gets interesting now this is a stone paper notebook not a sketchbook a notebook but wait until i find out something really really cool so i also got this at kmart i think it was for about seven dollars or something which means each book is approximately three dollars and fifty cents since you get two books in one pack and first off i love the paper well it did feel a bit thin but at the same time it was so smooth and you know how at the front it said the paper was tear resistant well i wanted to try it but i was a bit nervous because you know it's in a book and i don't want to ruin the paper but hold on i did end up kind of sort of tearing it at some point stay tuned for that as well and the next thing i did was i tested out my pencil and my pen because on the packaging it says that this book works well with pencil and pen which it definitely did and now comes the interesting and unexpected part like i said keep in mind this is a notebook and not a sketchbook so i wasn't really expecting markers to perform that well but i was so shocked to find out that the marker ink didn't bleed through to the other side it didn't even ghost and then i tried using a darker color because i thought you know what sometimes pastel colors are a bit um i guess different in how they perform so I used this blue color and colored in this box and guess what? No show through. And then I did a lot of layering just to test if what I'm seeing is real and believe it or not, no show through. Crazy, right? And then I did pretty much the exact same test with less layering and in this sketchbook, as you can see, it did pass through and I even tried it in my normal sketchbook that I'm currently using and guess what? It also did pass through. So that's pretty crazy actually. I mean, considering the fact that this is a notebook, the paper does feel pretty thin and it wasn't marked as something that doesn't allow marker bleed through, I was kind of shocked and I really wanted to try and make a drawing in this fascinating notebook. But before that, I thought let's go ahead and try blending before I get, you know, way too excited. So I tried blending out this pink with this orange color, which was slightly darker than I would have hoped for, but we're still going with it. And you know what? It looks pretty good right now. But then that's when things started to go downhill a bit, as you can tell. I mean, I don't know how to describe it. It kind of just feels like the marker is just sitting on the paper. Whereas if you look at this sketchbook, it kind of like sinks into the paper and the paper kind of absorbs it. I mean, the stone paper does as well, but it takes a bit of time. Um, I'm not a paper expert, but I did try and make this drawing off camera. And as you can tell, her blending was uh, something I don't really want to talk about because it was hard. But layering on the other hand was kind of interesting because the colors kind of just sat on top of each other and it kind of felt like I was using inks or something, which did did feel really new to me but i was kind of like interested to try and experiment and you know be a beginner at something else and anyways here i tried to rip the paper and i couldn't really tear it as you could tell but then don't worry i do try again one more time which is where i eventually do get it and as you can see here there is no bleed through so i decided to take one more go at the paper and see if it was going to be me or the paper and guess what i eventually did get it to tear and honestly the fact that it's sustained 
maintained itself for that long and it took me that much force and time and effort to pull it apart i think is a pretty big deal so definitely have to appreciate the paper for that also goodbye protective sheet we don't need you for this notebook and now here comes the fun part in today's drawing i'm going to be going ahead and using each and every single one of my hoo hoo kala markers except for the colorless blenders to make this drawing and here are the two sets that i currently own which adds up to a grand total of 84 markers now when you say the number 84 it doesn't sound like a big deal right i mean 84 it's not a lot but trust me the fact that i had to use 84 markers and the fact that i normally use about 10 or 20 felt like a pretty big deal to me also the cleaning up part after i used all the markers was very hard so at least watch the video for that <laughs> anyways as i made this drawing and as i filmed myself drawing as always i had no idea what i wanted to draw i know i say this all the time but it is very true so when in doubt i did what i always do best i grabbed out a pencil and started off by drawing a circle then a face and then suddenly i had this really cool idea so i decided to go with it so what i pretty much ended up doing was i drew this girl with her hand reaching up and then my idea was to kind of have like a rainbow coming out of her finger like some kind of i guess magical power and you know what i felt so proud of my idea because obviously i can use a lot of colors when coloring in the rainbow without making it look weird and having a bunch of random colors all over the page and then i also wanted to have the character kind of standing on a cloud or like with clouds in the background and a sky kind of thingy so that was my concept and at this point the sketch looks pretty good but here's when things really started to well whether it came together or fell apart is something that you guys can watch and find out on your own <laughs> oh and i just realized we are halfway through today's video and i thought i'd just add this special emoji here instead of at the end of today's video just for a change so since you guys made it this far make sure to comment this emoji down below to let me know that you made it this far okay so back to the drawing as you can tell i was kind of nervous going into this because obviously the first kind of trial drawing i made that i showed you guys before it didn't turn out looking that well or at least as good as my normal drawings usually are when i try <laughs> and secondly some of the marker ink kind of ended up getting on my hand because like i said before it kind of like sits on the paper it doesn't just directly soak in so i had to like hold the pen in a different way and i had to make sure that my wrist wasn't kind of rubbing on the paper as i drew but you know what so far it doesn't seem that bad right i mean it's a bit streaky but not that bad well that's what i wanted to think but honestly i was kind of freaking out internally <laughs> i mean in my defense from my perspective i couldn't just forward to the end of today's video and see how the drawing turned out because well it was a real-time drawing and i just had no idea how this drawing would turn out looking and i kind of just felt like i was wasting my time doing this because honestly just look at this piece it's already looking messy and weird and i really just wanted to give up but i decided not to and i just kind of went with it and let's find out how that went exactly <laughs> anyways though it was about at this point where i realized i had to kind of change up my technique and i couldn't get that perfectly blended rainbow like i had initially hoped so what i did was i went ahead and picked out my main rainbow colors and i colored each section of the rainbow in and then i decided to kind of do something a bit more different and something unlike anything i've done before and kind of like try speckling with the markers but layering them at the same time you'll see what i mean in a bit anyways another thing was that this drawing took me hours and hours to make so i kind of filmed half of this on time lapse which is why it's so fast but if i hadn't trust me my phone storage would have just completely ran out all right so about this notebook now or well considering how i'm using it about this sketchbook as i might call it i think that it's actually pretty good i mean i think one of the things i like about it is how it kind of like forced me to experiment with my art and kind of try something different in that way it pushed my creativity but realistically speaking i'm someone who likes to kind of blend and shade with my own kind of technique and i wouldn't really love to do this kind of speckling technique for each and every single drawing i make so i think that for me i wouldn't really use this sketchbook way too much for marker illustrations but i think i definitely love to use this for like pencil drawings or ballpoint pen drawings or maybe even just as like a general notebook because the paper is pretty thin but it kind of withstands like see through and like bleed through and stuff and even just like note taking in general when you're out in public or whatever <laughs> or school or uni or i don't know work but my point is the book itself is not bad 
but it's not that great for marker illustrations. But if you guys do want to support the environment, which I think is a great thing that we can all do and, you know, support sustainability and just generally being more eco-friendly and considerate of the environment, then I think using a stone paper notebook is something that we can all do. It's a pretty simple thing, you know, switching from paper to stone paper, but if it helps the environment, then what's the harm? Okay, let's be honest. It is true that we should not judge a book by its cover, but at the same time, there's nothing wrong with buying a notebook because its cover is pretty, and this notebook has a very pretty cover, so does the pink one, and it comes at an affordable price. So, you know, there are a lot of advantages to think about. Also, I don't know how well you guys can tell, but doesn't it look like the paper is kind of shiny and almost wet? Well, that's how it looks, but it was pretty much dry, trust me. Like I said before, the paper kind of just like allows the marker ink to sit on top and not so much soak in it. I guess that's kind of like why it looks that way, but honestly, I'm not too sure. And I'm also kind of curious, how do they make stone paper? Like, it's kind of interesting to think about, right? I think I recorded this video about three weeks ago because I can tell because of how long my nails have grown since then. But I never got around to like editing it and posting it because I was kind of feeling a bit of burnout with both YouTube and drawing, which I guess it's kind of normal because I've been constantly drawing and filming and editing. So I kind of decided to take a break last week and that definitely did help me. And now I'm going to try to kind of slowly ease back into editing and drawing and posting videos on youtube so this week's content is a bit different than usual but hopefully next week will be something more of the usual <laughs> unless you guys like different i don't know also with the socks i kind of accidentally blended some of the red and that mixed with some of the gray now the right sock well her left sock looks a bit weird but let's just pretend i didn't point that out and let's just continue to ignore it thank you <laughs> and now time for some ultra time lapse before we come to the very very last marker that we're going to be using for this drawing which is from the skin tone set and i'm going to add that to the skirt and some other parts of the drawing as well and with that we are officially done with the marker part now i just kind of went in added some details with a pen used my white gel pen for highlights used the pencil to blend out some areas where the ink just looked a little bit too patchy for my liking and with that we are almost done with this drawing also i got a comment the other day and someone was asking me like do you recommend brush markers or chisel tip markers and honestly if you're sitting on the fence and you don't know which one to get, I would recommend personally getting the Ahuhu Kala markers because they're kind of like in between and they're just great before you make that official decision of whether you want to go with a chisel, brush, or you know, just stick with the Kala markers. <laughs> Anyways, guys, here is how the drawing turned out. Here are some close up shots just because why not? And here is how the final thing turned out. I mean, there are definitely some things that I would do different next time. Uh, well, the first thing being not using this paper with markers, maybe using pencils or something else instead. But nevertheless, here is how she's looking. I don't hate it, but I don't love it. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys all have a fabulous day. Stay awesome as always, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, Magical Sparks!